Hi guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a ripple animation to a button created in a previous tutorial. I'm going to show you how to animate the start button. I'm quickly going to run through the app and show you how it works. For the ripple effect to work, we need to have a minimum SDK of 21. We can adjust this in the app griddle file. We will need to create an XML file for the ripple effect. You can find the code snippet for the ripple effect on my GitHub page. The code was obtained from the Android developer's website, but I customized it to suit the app. Next, go to the activity underscore main where the button XML is located and set the background to at drawable forward slash ripple underscore effect and run the app. You will notice that I get an error, but if you look at line 2 of the ripple underscore effect XML, you will notice that I have duplicate code. Remove this line and run the app again. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button. If you would like to see more tutorials like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.